a floor consists of 150 mm thick slab monolithically constructed with 300 mm wide beams spread, spread uh, spaced at 3.6 meter center to center spacing the effective span of beams is 5 meter the slab is subjected to superimposed load of 5 kN per meter square now design an intermediate beam of flexure use m20 concrete and a 415 steel okay so first of all uh, let's check which data is given in question bw width of web is 300 mm that is given effective span of beam that is l is 5 meter now live load is live load or superimposed load is 5 kN per meter square fck is 20 newton per millimeter square for m20 grade of concrete and fy is 415 newton per millimeter square for fe 415 steel now now you have to find out effective width of the flange first for effective width of flange as per is 456-2000 we have to use this formula bf is equals to l0 by 6 plus bw plus 6 df which is equals to 5000 by 6 plus 300 plus 6 into 150 that is equals to 2003.3 mm so as per question the diagram will be like this 300 mm is width of web center to center distance is 3.6 meter and 5 meter is length this is the plan and this is the cross sectional view of typical T beam which is monolithically constructed with slab now available flange width is 3600 mm which is greater than 2033 2033.3 uh, now effective width of flange uh, bf is 2033.3 mm now assuming depth of beam as l by 12 as the for the assumption which is discussed in first lecture of t beam which link is given below so that is equals to 5000 by 12 say 400 mm so depth capital d is 400 mm now effective depth is uh, small d is equals to 400 minus 30 um, we assumed effective cover as 30 mm so effective depth is equals to 370 mm and depth of web is 400 minus 150 that is equals to 250 mm except the width of uh, depth of flange now we have to calculate load the load calculation part design load of slab is 0 0.15 into 25 that is equals to 3.75 kN per meter square now superimposed load is 5 kN per meter square which is given so total load on slab will be 3.7 plus 5 plus 5 that is equals to 8.75 kN per meter square now load from 3.6 meter width of slab is transferred to the intermediate beam now load transferred from slab to beam is equals to 8.75 into 3.6 which is equals to 31.5 kN per meter and self weight of slab uh, sorry self weight of web is equals to 0 0.25 into 0 0.3 into 25 that means the depth of web is equals to 1.875 kN per meter so total load on the beam will be 31.5 plus 1.875 that is equal to 33.375 okay now maximum bending moment on beam 
uh, for simply supported beam is WL square by 8 that is equals to 33.375 into 5 square by 8 that is equals to 104.3 kN meter now you have to um, make it factor bending moment by multiplying load factor so mu is equals to 1.5 into um, 104.3 that is equals to 156.5 kN meter now assuming the neutral axis lies on flange as I told in earlier lectures also for T beam uh, for consideration first of all we assume always the neutral axis lies in flinch portion so for that XU is equals to 0.87 FY into AST by 0.36 FCK into BF that is equals to 0.87 into 415 into AST by 0 0.36 into 20 into 2033.3 so xu is equal to 0 0.0246 ast okay so this is the value of xu now for an under reinforced section mu is equal to 0 0.87 fi ast into d minus 0 0.42 xu so here mu is 156.5 into 10 to the power 6 is equal to 0 0.87 into 415 AST within bracket 370 minus 0 0.42 into 0 0.0246 AST so um, from this we can write 156.5 into 20 to the plus 6 is equals to 1335.5 AST minus 3.739 AST square by solving it we get AST is equals to 1213 mm square so XU is equals to 0 0.0246 into 1213 that is equals to 30 mm which is obviously less than 150 mm hence our assumption that neutral axis is lies in flange is valid okay so we have to solve the rest part of problem for this condition now using 30 mm diameter bars area of one cross section area of one bar a5 is equals to 314 mm square so number of bars is equals to 1213 by 314 which is almost equals to four bars so that is equals to, that's why ast will be 1256 mm square now minimum area of tensile steel AST minimum is equals to 0 0.85 BD by FY which is equals to 0 0.85 into 300 that is B into 370 that is D by 415 that is FY that is equals to 228 mm square which is less than 1256 mm square this is minimum area of steel required so hence the design is safe with respect to this so maximum area of uh, tensile steel is 0 0.04 BD that is equals to 0 0.04 into 300 into 400 that is equals to 4800 mm square which is greater than uh, 1256 mm square so area of steel provided is lies between minimum area of steel required and maximum area of tensile steel required so, hence the design is safe That's all for this lecture. Thank you.